Hello watch lovers and welcome to a brand new video on the channel. Today, as you can see, it's a new Seiko day, but a little bit different than normal Seikos. This is something that you don't really see all the time. This is like a cheap watch that kind of impressed me. I was just scrolling down on my shopping app, which here we use Lazada for me. For you, it might be something very different. And I saw this piece and the only two words that were in English on the listing and that I understood were silent and sweeping. And that got me thinking like, whoa, because usually I don't like alarm clocks. Like I'm one of those guys that just cannot sleep with the constant tick, 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 tick. It's kind of annoying, you know, I really don't like it. And when I saw the word silent, Hmm, could it really be? And it's that sweeping. And as you can see, indeed it is. But you say, wait, it's probably a battery clock. And you're right on that one. It is. It is a battery quartz. So I don't know how Seiko does it, but it's sweeping. And that gets you thinking like, why doesn't somebody else do that? Like put a sweeping hand on a quartz watch here. I'm looking at you citizen because I know everybody loves citizen because of the build quality. Their watches are tough, strong, but the problem is that their hands are tick, 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 tick. And if you're like, if you're like me, which most likely you are, you don't really like the constant ticking, but if citizen can do something like this, put a sweeping hand on a quartz watch, that would make a huge difference. And like, and like that, and just by that one little simple thing, citizen can be way more popular than it already is because more people would like it. Honestly, we can get by the fact that, oh, it's a battery watch, but it, but if it has a sweeping hand, we would just pretend that, that it's not a battery watch, you know what I mean? So anyway, let's get back to this little Seiko. This is a, as you can see, it has a sticker on, it's a world time. But, but it's not really a world time as you would think like, it's not, it doesn't have like the Louis Cotier mechanism. It does have the rotating bezel. Gotta mention, no clicks on this one. It's all plastic, non-clicking, and it does have the 24 hour scale inside, but that one is not rotatable. It doesn't move, so it's fixed. And you can, if you want to use like the world time option here, you would need to do it like the old fashioned way, like same like you would do. Seiko 5 does, they make a few world time clocks, the basic Seiko 5s, like normal freehand watches, and they put the city names, city names bezel and they have like a 24 hour scale on the side. So same like those. If you want to read the time everywhere in the world, you see what your local time is. Now it's like, so now it's showing like, what's it showing? 840, 848. So if you would like to see the time you would set like, now it's eight. So you would set your location, my case Bangkok, you would set your location to, because it's showing eight and now it's in the evening, you would set it to 20. And that gives you your local time on the 24 hour scale and you can read all the other time zones. So that's it. One more thing stands out on this one because it's all loomed. The hands are loomed. And also the indices are loomed, the numbers are loomed. It's not a very strong loom or like maybe my, my room is not really facing strong sunlight. It doesn't get too much natural light. So it's not very a uh, strong loom. I will try to show it at the end of the video. It is, as you can, as you saw, it uses one, one battery, one normal size battery, same as you have in your TV remotes and in anything really. 
and it's an alarm clock. And you set the time from here. As you can see, whoop, here we go. It's okay for an alarm clock. It's okay. Not too bad sound. As as we can see, the alarm hand is a yellow hand which you set like that and you pull one time out and you have your time setting hand. So it's a stoop it's a two-step crown. Is this thing called a crown on clocks also? Let's call it a crown. So it's a two-step crown. You set your alarm, you set your time, basic things. Let me just see. This is the box that it comes in. I don't think you've ever seen boxes like this with it. No, no guarantee card, no nothing. We just have two pieces of paper inside. This one is like, mm, I have absolutely no idea. Let's see the other one. So this one is instruction manual. Mm -hmm. But it's pretty self-explanatory. You don't need like, say off. I don't need you to teach me how to set the time on a clock. We've all done it, like a million times. Oh, and it also, it has a light. There's another button, there's the on, off button. When it's in the off position, red peaks out. When it's in the on position, there's a little green underneath that points out. And we have a snooze button, which is also a light button. But the light, light is kind of disappointing. It's, it doesn't really help. I mean, if, if the hands, when you need it during nighttime, if the hands are on the upper half, yeah, you can see the hands. But if the, if it's like early morning and it's still dark and the hands are down, like at the 4 a.m., 5 a.m., you wouldn't really be able to see the hands. I guess that's why the loom, the, the loom is there to help you out with that one. But the light, the light is the only negative thing about this one. Oh, I didn't mention the price. I got it like on a special, so I paid, oh, what was it? I paid 500 baht, which comes to 12 and a half, let's say $13 US. So this little thing cost $13 US. And for the money, I gotta tell you, I'm pretty happy. I'm very happy with it. I've seen a few other models, which are same like this one. Just, they have like, like a sort of a stand, which, is also, which also is a cover. And they call that one like a travel clock. So you have like the cover, which, folds down and behind and becomes a stand for the watch. But this one is not is not the same model. So this is just your home, home clock. It's not really your travel clock. That one with the, with the door that closes, with the stand that closes, that one, yeah, they call it a travel clock. But this one, I'm pretty happy with it. Let me switch off the light and we'll try to see if we, if the camera will, will pick up the loom. Just one second. Oops. Walking around in the dark, not a good idea. So here we go. I'm s with my eyes I can see it, but on the camera I it's not really. Mm -mm. Nope. Sorry guys, doesn't work. Maybe I need like a better camera or better setup. So let's finish up while we are still still in the dark. So signing off. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much for staying until the end. At least I hope that some of you did. And I will catch you again in the next video. Bye bye and take care.